remarkable secret has been unveiled in the heart of Egypt's arid sands, one that promises to rewrite the history of the world's most iconic structures. An ancient tomb just discovered in Egypt revealed the truth about the pyramids, sending shockwaves through the corridors of archaeology. Beneath the scorching sun, a team of tenacious explorers stumbled upon a hidden chamber concealed by centuries of sand and silence. Inside, an untold story of the pyramids unfolds, painting a vivid picture of their construction, purpose, and the ingenious minds behind these colossal wonders. What secrets lie hidden within this tomb's complex chambers? And what light will it shed on the astonishing engineering marvel that is the pyramids? Join us as we unravel how archaeologists have just discovered an ancient tomb in Egypt that reveals the shocking truth about the pyramid. Queen Neith's Tomb Uncovered A century after King Tut's tomb captivated the world, a remarkable discovery has emerged from the heart of the Saqqara archaeological site. At the core of this astounding revelation are the silent witnesses to a bygone era. Tombs, hundreds of them, delicately waiting to reveal their mysteries. These tombs might be the final resting places of those closest to the mysterious King Tut, his trusted generals and sagacious advisors. Nestled within the earth, a colossal limestone sarcophagus and an astonishing array of 300 coffins from the New Kingdom period have emerged. What makes them truly captivating is their individuality, each adorned with unique faces and adorned with vivid depictions of the Book of the Dead bearing the name of the departed. Four sons of Horus, guardians of vital organs, grace these coffins. Yet the height of this revelation stands tall in the form of an ancient pyramid, believed to belong to an Egyptian queen lost to time. The mysterious queen Neith, whose name vanished from historical records until now, emerges as a captivating puzzle. Revered as the Egyptian goddess of war and the patroness of the city of Sais, she was an influential figure spanning eras, from the pre-dynastic period to the Roman conquest. Legends whisper that she witnessed the birth of the world and mothered the radiant sun god, the king of deities, and the creator of all. Some even say she bore Sobek, the crocodile deity and the harbinger of birth. Neith, a weaver of war, wisdom, and destiny, fulfilled multiple roles in the afterlife. Although her life remains hidden in the mists of time, the discovery of her pyramid ignites the torch of understanding, offering a glimpse into her cryptic existence. Dr. Hawass, the guiding hand in this quest, also underlines the uniqueness of this find, as the New Kingdom burials, distinct from previous Saqqara discoveries, were an unknown presence in this hallowed ground. This revelation is nothing short of a time machine, a portal into a world where forgotten queens reigned and life and death danced in harmony. The coffins, adorned with the artistry of the Book of the Dead and the grandeur of Neith's Pyramid, stand as gateways to a past long yearning to be heard, finally whispering its secrets to the eager ears of our time. The sands of Giza have shifted, and the echoes of the ancient world resounded with tales untold, ready to rewrite the records of Egyptian royalty. Falcon Shrine A team of fearless archaeologists unveiled a treasure trove of history, weaving together a narrative that took us back to the late Roman era in a remarkable excavation that unfolded in January 2019, tucked away in Egypt's eastern desert. It's a tale that transcended time, straight from the pages of the American Journal of Archaeology. Settled within the ancient seaport of Bereniki, their shovels and brushes gently unveiled a religious complexity from the 4th to 6th century CE, whose echoes reverberated into the present day. But it wasn't just any religious complexity, it was a sacred sanctuary that once whispered the secrets of the nomadic Blemies. Led by the indomitable Joanna Orr, Ye Guzman, from the Department of Antiquity and Middle-Aged Studies at the Universidad Autónoma de Barcelona in Spain, this archaeological adventure held more than a few surprises. As the dust settled, there it stood, like a watchman from ages past, the Falcon Shrine. This Egyptian sanctuary boasted two consecutively shaped rooms, adorned with walls of white and hydrite gypsum ashlar and a marble revetment alcove. Within these hallowed chambers, an offering table of substantial stone and a curious cube statue with a stone head jutting out from its block were uncovered. 
A broken Greek inscription hinted at the shrine's purpose, and an offering stand completed the tableau. But the falcon shrine held an even more astonishing secret. Fifteen headless falcons, amongst 735 other animal remains, whispered tales of rituals and reverence. The skeletal fragments included diverse fish, birds, and mammals, proof of the complex mystery of beliefs woven within these sacred walls. Adjacent to the shrine, a round-topped stela graced the anteroom, adorned with iconic Egyptian imagery and Greek inscriptions. A spherical object, a gift from a pharaoh to three gods, including the falcon deity, revealed a contrasting tale. A prohibition against boiling heads, a glimpse into the religious customs of a bygone era. The mysteries didn't end there. Among the relics lay coins and a mysterious harpoon, their provenance shrouded in the mists of time. Though the precise functions of these shrines escaped us, the sheer size and complexity of the site stood as proof of its profound religious significance. This archaeological discovery, wrapped in the sands of Bereniki, offers us a glimpse into a world long vanished, a world of rituals and reverence, where the falcon reigned supreme, and where even a simple act like boiling a head was considered taboo. The Falcon Shrine is a portal to a bygone era, an affirmation of human spirituality. Gold Tongues In the heart of Egypt's Nile Delta, just 40 miles north of Cairo, an astonishing archaeological revelation has taken place. Here, at the Kaizan and Acropolis site, Egyptian archaeologists revealed a collection of mummies that left them amazed. These ancient relics, believed to date back to the period between 300 and 640 BCE, held an extraordinary secret within their silent mouths. Solid gold tongues. Dr. Mustafa Waziri, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Archaeology, announced this remarkable discovery. The experts meticulously examined the tombs, and what they found was truly mystifying. Multiple mummies were decorated with golden chips sculpted in the likeness of human tongues, comfortably placed within their oral cavities. One prevailing theory suggests that the Egyptians held a profound belief in the afterlife, where the departed could communicate with Osiris, the lord of the underworld. Perhaps, in their spiritual quest, they thought the golden tongues would serve as a means of ensuring this connection. The Kaisan and Acropolis area first came to archaeological attention in 1989, and since then, several rounds of excavations have unfolded. The wealth of knowledge revealed here has been nothing short of astonishing. Dr. Waziri revealed that some mummies, whose bones were in poor condition, were discovered to have gold coatings concealed beneath their linen wrappings. These ancient tombs also held other treasures beyond the golden tongues. Inside the human-shaped wooden coffins, archaeologists found pottery, glues, and materials used in the embalming process. Gold chips meticulously crafted into the forms of scarab beetles and lotus flowers were among the artifacts. Copper nails, essential for the mummification process, and various embalming materials gave further insight into the burial practices of these ancient civilizations. Dr. Haman Ash Marwi, the head of the Egyptian archaeological sector within the Supreme Council of Archaeology, emphasized that each burial level they uncover divulges fresh insights into the diverse rites and techniques employed by our ancestors to lay their loved ones to rest. This remarkable discovery not only captivated the imagination, but also unveiled a profound aspect of ancient Egyptian beliefs and burial practices. 250 Rock Tombs in Sohik A team of archaeologists, united under the banner of the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, has unveiled a treasure trove of rock tombs. Settled in the majestic embrace of the Al-Hamidian Acropolis in southern Egypt, these remarkable discoveries have left the world in awe. The excavations, led by the Supreme Council of Antiquities, are part of a grand mission to preserve and chronicle the rich tread of archaeological wonders this region holds. Mustafa Waziri, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, shares the astounding news. In their quest, the team has revealed an astonishing 200 graves scattered like precious gems across the mountains to the east of the Sohe government. These rock tombs reveal an extraordinary diversity of styles, each a unique evidence of human ingenuity and ancient customs. 
Some are thoroughly carved into the mountain's heart, with wells leading to their sacred chambers, while others boast majestic slopes, allowing passage to the resting places of the departed. But what makes this discovery truly captivating is the deep connection it offers to the past. Waziri's words echoed the weight of history as he revealed that these graves span different eras. Their stories stretched from the twilight of the Old Kingdom to the closing chapter of the Ptolemaic era. One exceptional grave, hailing from the Old Kingdom, beckoned us into a world of wonder. Adorned with a meticulously crafted fake door, beautified with picture-writing inscriptions, and adorned with vivid wall paintings that depict touching sacrifices and offerings to the departed, it's living proof of the enduring bond between the living and the dead. The significance of this discovery goes beyond just an isolated event in time. Hussein Abdul Bazia, the director of the Antiquities Museum at Bibliotheca Alexandrina, reminds us that this region, Sohang, is an archaeological gold mine. As more archaeological missions converge on this hallowed ground, we are poised to embark on a journey through time, revealing more secrets that will transport us back to the days of pharaohs and the splendor of ancient Egypt. King Ramses, the Second Treasurer A groundbreaking discovery rocked the world of Egyptology in the year 2022. Ola El Aguizi, an Egyptologist, unveiled the long-forgotten tomb of Pata Ware to the public. This event sent shockwaves through the news channels as they managed to capture astonishing images from the tomb's interior. The walls of the tomb were adorned with captivating paintings depicting both humans and animals, providing an intriguing window into the past. However, the true star of this archaeological revelation was Pata M. Weir, the treasurer for the legendary pharaoh Ramses, the second also known as Rameses the Great. This ruler of the 19th dynasty of ancient Egypt, reigning during the 13th century BCE, etched his name in history as one of the most celebrated pharaohs, renowned for his military prowess and the countless monumental structures he erected, such as the Temple of Ramses, the Second and Abu Simbel, the Ramesseum, and the Karnak temples. The sheer magnitude of these accomplishments hints at the remarkable minds managing the kingdom's treasury. The tomb's primary attraction was undoubtedly the untouched sarcophagus, crafted from robust granite and covered in intricate inscriptions. These inscriptions acted as the key that unlocked the identity of its occupant, definitively confirming that this was the final resting place of Pata M. Weir. The excitement of the discovery was not solely due to its historical significance, but also the challenge faced by the archaeological team. Hidden within the tomb's courtyard was a mysterious vertical shaft. Unearthing such tombs is a meticulous and time-consuming process, as many remain undisturbed and untouched for centuries. After a week of cautious excavation, the 26-foot shaft led them to a new chamber, where Ola El Aguisi, the head archaeologist, made the pivotal find, the untouched sarcophagus. What makes this discovery particularly riveting is the rarity of a grave untouched by the hands of clever grave robbers. These individuals have long been notorious for their ability to locate valuable artifacts and spirit them away. The location of the chamber at the end of a 26-foot shaft offered a level of protection, making it nearly impenetrable to these ancient treasure hunters. Luxor Valley of the Kinks Settled within the vast expanse of the Dra Abu El Naga necropolis, Egyptian archaeologists revealed the first burial ground from the mysterious 13th dynasty of ancient Egypt, a civilization that prospered nearly four millennia ago, spanning the years between 1803 BC and 1649 BC. Dr. Fata Yassin, the sagacious director general of antiquities for Upper Egypt, articulated the sheer significance of this discovery. Despite having uncovered more than a thousand sepulchers in Luxor before this significant find, this one marked a historic first for the 13th dynasty. The site spreads over 50 yards in width and stretches an impressive 70 yards in length. What truly captivated the experts, however, was a large sarcophagus formed from pink granite, an astonishing mass of approximately 11 tons. This impressive vessel bore the inscription of a minister named Anko, who lived under the rule of King Sobekhotep, the second allowing us a glimpse into this bygone era. 
Adding to the intrigue were the Yosheptis, small wooden sculptures painted in clean white. What set them apart from the typical hieroglyphs were the curious markings in high erratic script. This puzzle intrigued Dr. Yasin, who has dedicated a quarter of a century to this field. Hieratic, the customary written form of ancient Egypt, bridging the 3rd millennium BC to the mid-1st millennium BC, had given way to this unique form of expression, an echo of a forgotten time. The Valley of the Kings, an enthralling realm known for its complex underground tombs, holds more than 60 tombs and 20 unfinished ones that remain silent affirmations of a bygone era. Legend has it that these tombs were strategically placed on the western bank of the Nile, as it was believed to be the spot where the sun god descended and met his celestial demise. A secretive sanctuary, this choice was driven by the need to shield the resting places of rulers from looters who had stripped the tombs of old and middle kingdoms. The rulers of the new kingdom aimed to escape a similar fate by concealing their subterranean sanctuaries in this remote desert valley. This amazing discovery serves as a captivating window into the mysterious past of Egypt, enlightening a remarkable era that has remained hidden in mystery for millennia. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Ancient mysteries have long hidden the mighty pyramids of Egypt, leaving historians and curious minds to ponder their origins. But now, an incredible revelation has emerged from an ancient tomb just discovered in Egypt. This tomb, untouched for centuries, held secrets that illuminated the mysterious pyramids. The ancient Egyptians, with their incredible engineering prowess, constructed the pyramids to stand the test of time. However, one question has persisted. Were these grand structures built by slave labor? The newly discovered tomb appears to set the record straight. Inside, hieroglyphics tell the story of the dedicated workforce behind the pyramids. Not slaves, but skilled laborers who were treated with respect and dignity. This revelation challenges our preconceived notions. The tomb provided insights into the astonishing techniques used to construct the pyramids. It revealed an array of ingenious tools and machinery, which were far more advanced than previously thought. This innovation not only redefines our understanding of ancient technology, but also shows the remarkable achievements of the ancient Egyptians. In the end, the ancient tomb just discovered in Egypt revealed the truth about the pyramids that captivates the world. It unveiled a society of skilled artisans and engineers who toiled with determination and ingenuity to create one of the wonders of the world. This revelation rewrote history and invited us to appreciate the marvels of the past with fresh eyes, forever changing the way we view the pyramids and the people who built them. What do you think about what we just showed you? 1,800-year-old Roman city, unearthed. In the heart of southern Egypt, a stunning revelation has emerged from the sands of time. Recent excavations in Luxor have unveiled a well-preserved Roman city, dating back a remarkable 1,800 years. This astonishing discovery, shared by Mustafa Waziri, the Secretary General of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities, has sent ripples of excitement through the world of archaeology. The city, which hails from the 2nd and 3rd centuries AD, stands as an exceptional testament to history, as the most ancient and influential urban center ever unearthed to the east of Luxor. Mustafa Waziri took to Twitter to share this extraordinary find, revealing not just a city, but an entire residential village. Among the ruins, two pigeon towers stand tall, fascinating structures that once played an important role in ancient communication. These towers were breeding grounds for carrier pigeons, enabling the swift exchange of messages across the vast expanse of the Roman Empire. The September excavations also brought to light an assortment of tools, pots, and Roman coins crafted from bronze and copper. These artifacts offer us a glimpse into the daily life and economy of this long-forgotten city, as if peering through a window into a bygone era. Luxor, once a bustling Nile-side city, was a place of great significance. It was home to Thebes, the renowned site of the Valley of the Kings and the Valley of the Queens. In 1979, this historical treasure trove was recognized as a United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization World Heritage Site, highlighting its immense cultural value. 
Waziri described this latest revelation as a true triumph, a precious gem uncovered during an already exceptional excavation season. Luxor has long been a source of archaeological wonders, as demonstrated by the discovery of numerous tombs earlier in the year. The timing of this revelation is particularly poignant, occurring just before the grand opening of the Egyptian Museum in Cairo later this year. This promises to be a golden era for Egyptology, as these newfound artifacts add to our understanding of an ancient civilization that continues to captivate and inspire us. The allure of Luxor's history is now more compelling than ever, inviting us to delve deeper into the mysteries of this ancient Roman city, concealed for centuries beneath the sands of time. Mummification in Ancient Egypt Step into a world where the mysteries of ancient Egypt come to life, where the sands of time conceal secrets that defy conventional wisdom. You might have believed that the purpose of mummification was solely to preserve the body in the afterlife, but the hallowed halls of a new museum exhibition challenge this notion. The revelations presented by the museum's curator of Egypt and Sudan, Campbell Price, will shatter your preconceptions and illuminate the profound purpose behind mummification. Contrary to popular belief, mummification was not a mere preservation process, but a sacred journey guiding the departed towards divinity. Price's groundbreaking insights dismantle a misconception that has endured for generations, tracing its origins to the Victorian era when researchers erroneously likened mummification to the preservation of fish with salt. However, the ancient Egyptians' use of salt was profoundly different, comprising a unique blend of minerals readily found along the banks of the Nile River. Picture this. A mystical substance known as natron, a fusion of diverse minerals, was the centerpiece of the mummification process. Yet, it transcended its role in the realm of the deceased. Natron, abundant near the Nile, was not solely confined to mummies, but featured prominently in temple rituals and the purification of divine statues. In this captivating revelation, the age-old association of natron with mummies unravels, unveiling its broader significance in ancient Egyptian culture. Delve further into this mysterious world, where fragrance surpasses its aromatic beauty. In the ancient Egyptian lexicon, incense bore a weighty significance, synonymous with the act of making things divine. It was not just a gift to the gods, but a vehicle to transform the earthly into the divine. This linguistic clue is proof of the profound role of incense in the spiritual tapestry of ancient Egypt. The Victorian Egyptologists, in their well-intentioned but misguided quest, presumed that the departed needed their physical bodies in the afterlife, fueling the misconceptions surrounding mummification. However, the truth is infinitely more intricate and spiritual, where mummification was an intricate ritual, guiding the soul toward the divine and infusing every facet of ancient Egyptian culture with meaning. In this captivating revelation, the sands of time shift, rewriting the story of the ancient Egyptians. Mummification was not just about preserving the body. It was a transcendent journey, a bridge to divinity. As we peel back the layers of history, the past unfolds in a new light casting aside the veil of misconception to reveal a culture deeply rooted in spiritual transformation. 4,300-year-old tomb of an Egyptian dignitary. Deep beneath the shifting sands of the ancient Egyptian city of Saqqara, a hidden world of secrets and intrigue was recently unveiled at the Polish Center of Mediterranean Archaeology at the University of Warsaw. In a remarkable discovery, a tomb that had remained concealed for millennia was brought to light and its contents are nothing short of captivating. The story begins with a team of dedicated archaeologists who, amidst the dry moat that encircles the monumental Steppe Pyramid of Djoser, stumbled upon a treasure trove of history. The site, once serving as a complex dedicated to the late pharaoh who reigned from 2630 BCE to 11 BCE, revealed its secrets as the team delved deeper into its heart. What they found was a tomb, intricately adorned with a beautifully decorated entrance facade. The walls, adorned with rough paintings and hieroglyphic inscriptions, came to life with the vibrancy of a bygone era. A relief, artistry of the highest order, depicted the person to whom the tomb belonged. This figure shrouded in mystery until now, 
was none other than a high-ranking official named Mayetu. This distinguished individual wore several hats in the ancient Egyptian court. He held the keys to the kingdom's secrets as the custodian of royal seals and confidential documents. But that was not all. Majetu also served as an inspector of the royal estate and a priest of the mortuary cult of King Teti. The significance of this discovery is immense. It is a key that unlocks a window into the enigmatic world of the Sixth Dynasty's reign. Majetu's existence and the treasures within his tomb illuminate a time when the first three rulers of the Sixth Dynasty held sway over Egypt. His life's work was dedicated to safeguarding the secrets of the royal court and serving the kingdom with utmost devotion. What adds to the appeal of this discovery is the impeccable preservation of the tomb's limestone walls by the protective embrace of the surrounding sand. The dry moat which had hidden this crypt for ages also played a crucial role in preserving the tomb's remarkable facade, a testament to the ancient Egyptians' architectural prowess. This tale of exploration, painted with history's vibrant strokes, serves as a reminder of the unending intrigue that lies beneath the sands of time. Majetu's tomb not only honors the memory of an official who safeguarded royal secrets, but also opens a door to the past, offering a glimpse into the intricate tapestry of ancient Egypt's legacy. As the sands continue to whisper their secrets, one can't help but wonder what other marvels may still lie waiting, concealed beneath the desert's shifting veil. A Geometric Miracle Tunnel the recent discovery of the geometric miracle tunnel beneath the ancient city of Tapos Cyrus Magna on the Egyptian coast is a breathtaking archaeological find. Kathleen Martinez and her team from the University of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic revealed this tunnel, hidden 43 feet below the surface. What makes this tunnel so intriguing is its geometric design. It stretches for an astonishing 4,281 feet through solid sandstone and stands at a height of around six feet. The Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities has drawn a comparison between this tunnel and Greece's Tunnel of Eupolinos, which dates back to the 6th century BCE, known for its aqueduct system. Part of the Tapos Cyrus Magna Tunnel is submerged in water, adding an air of mystery to its purpose. The true reason for its construction remains a puzzle, but Kathleen Martinez holds strong hopes that this find might be the key to solving the 18-year-long quest for the lost tomb of Cleopatra, the seventh ruler of Egypt's Ptolemy dynasty. Clues from previous excavations in the area suggest that Cleopatra could have been buried there. The team speculates that the temple in Tapos Cyrus Magna was dedicated to the god Osiris and the goddess Isis, who has strong historical ties to Cleopatra. Coins bearing the names and images of Alexander the Great and Cleopatra, as well as figurines of Isis, have been discovered in the vicinity. Moreover, there are reports of burial shafts in the temple containing Greco-Roman burials, which raises the possibility that Cleopatra and Mark Antony might have been interred in similar tombs. Regardless of whether their tombs are found, the ongoing excavation promises valuable insights into the ancient city and its history. The tunnel has already yielded captivating artifacts, including pottery fragments and a limestone block. As former Minister for Antiquities, Zahi Hawass mentioned over a decade ago, discovering the burial places of Cleopatra and Mark Antony would be ranked as one of the most significant archaeological discoveries of the 21st century. The Mystical Dagger of King Tutankhamun Nearly a century ago, an archaeologist named Howard Carter unveiled a discovery that would unravel mysteries and captivate imaginations, the remarkable unearthing of the tomb of the boy king, Tutankhamun. As was customary in those ancient times, the young king was laid to rest with the provisions he might require in the afterlife. These were not mere trinkets, but an array of luxuriant treasures, furniture, food, and in some instances, even pets and servants, all sheltered within the tomb's secure embrace. The Egyptians, masters of preservation, employed tombs as repositories for the remains of the departed. This practice birthed the concept of mummies, deceased bodies meticulously preserved through a ritualistic process involving natron, resin, and swaths of bandages. You've likely encountered these enigmatic figures in movies, but the reality was far more astounding. Tutankhamun's resting place unveiled objects fit for a monarch. 
Resplendent clothing, exquisite jewelry, regal furniture, and the iconic golden mask. Such opulence in royal tombs was expected. However, what left archaeologists awestruck was a seemingly ordinary yet profoundly extraordinary iron dagger nestled amidst the mummy's bindings. This dagger's peculiarity lay in its composition. The prevailing belief was that the Egyptians had not yet acquired the knowledge of smelting iron during King Tutankhamun's era, raising intriguing questions. Howard Carter, however, proposed a simple explanation. It must have been imported, added to the mummy's belongings after interment. This notion sparked debates until 2016. In 2016, cutting-edge science unraveled the true origin of this enigmatic dagger. It was no ordinary iron but contained high levels of nickel, a telltale sign of meteoric iron. Meteoric iron, as the name implies, comes from the heavens, found in meteors that touch Earth's surface. To the ancient Egyptians, deeply religious and filled with beliefs in divine gifts, this mysterious metal must have seemed like a blessing from the gods, destined to accompany their beloved king into the afterlife. In essence, modern technology, such as X-ray analysis, became the key to unveiling this ancient riddle. It shed light on the celestial origins of a dagger that was supposed to be centuries old. This, in turn, highlighted the pivotal role of advanced scientific methods in archaeology. Which of these discoveries did you find the most intriguing? Let us know your opinions in the comments below.